Good morning guys and welcome to the first pop shop vlog of 2024. I'm so excited. If you can't tell, I am in a wonderful mood. It's beautiful out. It's gonna be like high 50s today. I have my oats for this morning. Like what can be better, honestly? This pop-up is gonna be at Madewell here in Hoboken, New Jersey. Madewell as in like Madewell, wild. I do have to get ready a little bit. I need to put on my outfit. I need to do my makeup. I need to pack up a little bit more of my stuff. My bin is wild right now. But let me finish my breakfast first because we all know the first step of having a successful pop-up shop is taking care of yourself and not neglecting your own needs, drinking water, eating, getting rest the night before. So let me devour this real quick and then we'll get into it. Okay guys, I'm ready to go. I'm wearing this really cute jumpsuit from Lulu's that they sent to me and also same with the earrings, but I thought I would like put some work into my appearance because it's the first pop-up. I feel like this gives like worker vibes, owns her own business vibes. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so cute. Um, it's a little long, but it doesn't hit the ground, which is good. And I like it. It fits my torso pretty well. It's like a little bunchy here, but I think that's how it's supposed to be because there's elastic and I have pockets. So that's a win in my book. Coming over here, I have my one bin filled with everything. I have all of my displays in here from Vertical Ledge that I want to bring. I have the mini candles that are in these boxes. I have two of those in there. I have these hay crates, which I love because they're collapsible. This big black bag is filled with scrunchies. The shoe box is filled with like little things like decals and stickers and my business cards. What else did I put in here? Oh, um, shopping bags. I have a few of those. Honestly, I don't have enough. I should really order more. And then I brought my mirror that displays like a sample decal. I think that's honestly it. It's not that much. Other than this, I'm bringing this box of bigger candles as well as that box of bigger candles. And I am also bringing that backpack and that pouch that I'll put in the backpack that has all of my electronics. I am going to Uber because it's a few blocks away and I do have a good amount of stuff. Oh, I also need to take my wagon out of that corner where it's been hiding for the past three months at this point. I haven't used it in three months since my December holiday market excited to take it out. I think I do need to add some oil to the wheels though because it kind of squeaks. I'll figure that out today. I'm gonna put everything into the wagon, put everything into the Uber, get to Madewell, unpack everything, back into my wagon, go into Madewell and set up. I hope it's a good one. <laughs>
All right, guys, here's the setup. It's a four foot table that they provided for me and they also gave me that cool tablecloth. It's like a blue tie dye and I put my banner on it. And then on the left, I have the tote bags hanging off the end like I did in December at the holiday market. These are the Hoboken ones and they're just being held there by these two heavy candles. And I have my scrunchie peg stand, which my dad made for me, um, if you remember from last year. And I just put some of the really colorful scrunchies that I made literally last night. <laughs> And then next to that, I have all my candles looking very colorful and pretty. A lot of these I made over the past week. A lot of these are just from stock that I've had. Um, all the minis are new and they look really cute all together. I'm happy with the way this like, is laid out. These are my sister's coasters that she made for me. Business cards. Oh, and the displays are vertical edge. I made recently, so I don't even think the green one is on my website really? yet. Yeah. I'm really feeling this color. Like, pink's my yeah. favorite color, but I've been into green lately. No, I like that. I think the pink <laughs> ones I posted last month, yeah. but the rest of these, I think, or like the satin ones, I haven't posted on my site yet. I wish I could smell it. Yeah, yeah I know. I feel so bad because, like, I want everyone to smell it too, but there's no way to do that. I was thinking about, like, making even smaller ones than this, like tester ones. <laughs> yeah. Just to, like, be able to ship it out to people for, like, a lot cheaper in case they want to just test out, like, oh, the that been good, yeah. Um, so I'm working on that. Right. That one's good. So can I get um, these two? And do you want a little bag? Um, sure. And a cucumber melon. Sure. Do you want the mini cucumber melon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the yeah. like easier it is for people. Okay. So okay. we'll do cucumber melon. Sorry, once again, I'm just gonna okay. bring it up. <laughs> this together, it'll be $31.99. Okay. And we're doing cards. Let me give you my letter. I'm just gonna put it down here so later in the year. Oh, okay. And I wanted to start advertising it more okay. um, after I get married. Okay, <laughs> just, yeah. It was nice meeting you. It was so nice to meet you. I'm hoping to see you soon. Yeah. Yeah.
guys what a pop-up i have done pop-ups at other brick and mortar stores before but this one hit different it was at madewell as i cannot stop saying my plan was definitely to uber there that did not happen i ended up walking and it was actually perfectly fine um it wasn't that far of a walk however there were two blocks that were just very inclined of an uphill and with my wagon I was, I was getting a little tired and out of breath. So I arrived a little sweaty. All the workers were so, so nice and they were just so nice. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I set up right as soon as you walk into the Madewell doors to the left, there's like this little corner that I've seen other small businesses pop up at. And so I kind of knew like the area I'd be in. And I was basically the first thing everyone saw when you walk into the store. Not that many people showed up. Madewell definitely has like a good amount of traffic, especially on the weekends, but the workers were saying like, honestly, that wasn't that many people compared to like other weekends. So I was like fine with that. There were a few people who came specifically for my pop-up. They DM'd me on Instagram asking for the address or they just like saw on social media that I posted I'd be there. So they just showed up. It was so nice meeting a bunch of you. I just can't believe when people like come to things for me specifically or my business, obviously not for me, for the things that I produce. <laughs> I was very grateful for the people who stopped by and I was really happy to chat with a lot of you guys. And then people who came into Madewell just to like go shopping at Madewell, um, a lot of people did stop at my table and like smell some of my candles, look at my Hoboken tote bag, look at like some of the coasters and things like that. Things that I sold, mainly candles. I did sell two Hoboken tote bags. I brought three, so I had one left over, but mainly candles. I brought how many did I bring? Well, 24. I think I brought about 24 bigger candles. And then of the minis, I think I also brought basically 24 because I brought two boxes of each. Of the minis, I only came back with, I think, like eight. And then for the bigger candles, I came back with 12. So half of them. Funny enough, I didn't sell any of the cereal milk candles, which I thought would be a hit. That was where I was debuting the cereal milk candles. Everyone loved them. Everyone smelled them. Like they saw the label and were like, oh, let me smell it. And they smelled it. They said it smelled like Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops and all of that. But nobody bought the big ones. People bought all of the small ones that I had made as if like they only wanted like a little bit of it, not like a big jar of that fragrance. So that was very interesting and good to know. Of course, my sandalwood musk and high tie candles sold out pretty much immediately. Same with the Palo Santo ones, which is crazy. And the lavender ones, which I, those three, I should just know. Are gonna sell. I sold a few scrunchies. Um, I had my scrunchie peg stand and people really liked that. I didn't sell too many scrunchies. Scrunchies are very hit or miss. Sometimes I sell a bunch, sometimes I sell like none. It wasn't really a jam-packed pop-up. I wasn't on my feet all the time. I was sitting for a lot of it. I was like editing content on my phone or I was just like saying hi and like talking with customers. Customers isn't like just like regular customers coming into Madewell. It was very obvious when someone was interested in my table because like they would come up and literally like come and say hi since it almost seemed like a separate part of the store. Overall, it was a great experience. They said I'm welcome to come back and do it another time if I wanted to set up another date, which is so crazy. I loved the Lulu's jumpsuit that I was wearing. Like, I felt like that was so comfortable and also made me look really, like, crafty and artsy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do it again. There was no pop-up fee, no vendor fee for this little pop-up. That's, like, one of my favorite things about doing pop-ups at brick-and-mortar stores. They are just like trying to support small businesses and they obviously pay rent for the space that they're renting but they don't charge me anything. I'm definitely going to try to do another pop-up at Madewell here in Hoboken again maybe sometime in the summer maybe sometime like in the fall. I feel like fall time is like a big shopping time so maybe I'll do that then. It felt good getting back into the pop-up game. I'm actually not going to do another one until June so there's going to be a big gap between this one and my next one but I'm really happy that I did it. I would hate to have gone like a full half of a year without doing a pop-up. I just like crave doing them so much. So this was a good like teaser for the rest of the year. And I hope the ones of the rest of the year like end up being really successful and really great. Again, always so grateful to be doing these pop-ups. If you have any questions about my setup or like anything that I did, put them in the description. I'll be sure to answer. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.